Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to a first for my channel. In this video, I received yesterday a question from a viewer, and today I am going to answer it. And it all pertains to how to factor quadratic equations with grouping. Here is the specific question that I received. When you are breaking down x squared plus 3x minus 10 into the result here, how did you know to turn the 3x into negative 2x and 5x respectively? All right, I'm going to answer that very specific problem, and I'm also going to solve two additional problems right now. Okay, so let's say we have this problem. That is to factor x squared plus 2x minus 15. How do we do this? Well, what we need to do is we need to look for two numbers that fit these very specific requirements. So we're going to have a times b, and that is going to have to equal Right here, we have, or we assume there is a 1 there. And then we take the product of this value right here. So that would be 1 times negative 15 is equal to negative 15. So we're looking for two values whenever you take the product of them that they equal negative 15. And also, we're looking for two values that when you add them together, they sum to... Two. All right, so that is what we are specifically looking for. So we're just going to take 15 here. We'll take our 15, and we know that 3 and times 5 is going to be equal to 3 fifth, uh, or is going to be equal to 15. So we just need one of those to be negative, and we also know that 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So there we go. We got both of our requirements. And then we can just break these two things into groups. And whenever we do that, we just take x plus 5. Where did that come from? Came from right here. And then x minus 3. Right like that. And that came from this minus 3 right here. And there you are. We just factored these, this specific quadratic equation into groups. And if you want to verify that it is indeed true, x times x, x squared, 5x plus 5x minus 3x, boom, boom, minus 15. And if we simplify this, we get plus 2 x minus 15. So there you go. That is how to take a quadratic and factor it with grouping. All right, so this time I'm going to answer the viewer's specific question. And actually, I'm going to solve this problem in two different ways. So what we can do here, again, we're going to do the same type of thing. We're going to look for two numbers in which the product a times b is going to be equal to 4 times negative 40. All right, so 4 times negative 40, and that is going to be equal to 100 or negative 160. And we're also going to look for same values of a and b that are going to be equal to 12. Comes from right there. All right, so let's go and think about different ways of getting 160. Well, we can take 2 times 80. That's not going to give us 12. And we can go and get 4 times 40. Again, not going to give us 12. Then we can get 5 times 32, not giving us 12. And then 8 times 20. Well, look at that. If you take 20 minus 8, what does that give you? It gives you 12. So there we go. We have our value. And now we can simplify this by saying 2x 
minus 8, 2x plus 20. And if we multiply this out, it becomes 4x squared minus 16x plus 40x minus 160. But if we go and work this out, you see that that doesn't work. That ends up being equal to 24x minus 160. So we got a problem here. But we can solve it by going and factoring out the 4 up here, and then we can get our proper expected results. So let's do that over here. Let's factor out our 4, and we are left with x squared plus 3x minus 10. Again, with this one, maybe I should divide this up. Again, we are going to look for a times b, which is going to be equal to, this is assumed to be a 1, and this is negative 10, obviously. So we'll just make this negative 10. And a plus b is going to be equal to 3. Well, if we go and look at ways of creating 10, we have 10, 2 times 5. And if we do that, we'll see that indeed 5 minus 2 is going to be equal to 3. And 2 times, or negative 2 times 5 is going to give us negative 10. So there we went. We found our answer. And that's going to leave us with x minus 2 and x plus 5. All right. So I went down the wrong rabbit hole on purpose here just to show you that factoring out 4 here is going to solve our problems for us. And this leaves us, but we can't forget about the 4. So our final answer is going to end up being 4x minus 2 and x plus 5. All right, so there you go. All right, this time we're going to do 2 x squared plus 4x minus 16. All right, so how are we going to solve this? Well, as we learned before, it's going to be a lot easier if we factor out our 2. So let's factor out that common term of 2. This becomes 2x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now what we need to do is look for an a times b, which is going to be equal to negative 8. Again, this 1 and this negative 8 right here. All right, that's where that comes from. And also, a plus b is going to be equal to 2. That came from right there. All right, so let's look for those things. Well, if we have negative 8, we know that 2 times 4 is going to be equal to negative 8. And if we take negative 2 and 4, we have met all of our requirements. We got our negative 8 by multiplying negative 2 times 4. Negative 8. Great. And we go and add negative 2 to 4. Guess what? We get 2. So simple. So now all we need to do is plug those values in x minus 2 and x plus 4. Don't forget our 2. And there we go. And the 2, of course, came when we factored the 2 out here. And there we go. We solved multiple different quadratic equations, or we factored them using grouping. Hopefully that makes sense. And like I said, with all of my videos that I make, if you have any questions, always feel free to leave them in the questions and comments section down below. And otherwise, till next time.